Welcome back to another exciting video edition of the SSD Review. My name is Les Tokar. I am the managing editor. And today I wanted to bring to you a uh, uh, true-to-life example of a few laptops in our desktop system and how fast solid-state drives can start computers today. This, of course, is going to accompany our uh, article uh, demonstrating, uh, well, not really demonstrating, but speaking to the difference between a hard drive based computer and that of a solid state drive. Uh, well, let's let's get right into it here. The first system we're going to look at is to the right. It's a brand new two, 2012 MacBook Air. It has absolutely no optimizations whatsoever as I haven't got a clue how to uh, optimize the OS X environment. It does have OS X Mountain Lion in it and it quite frankly is my personal favorite system today and it just started in 14 seconds um, except for the fact that I've added boot camp to that system uh, and another uh, operating system I've got Windows installed in there which I'll show you shortly uh, that is just how just how fast your system would start if you bought the same uh, identical um, configuration in uh, MBA let's move over to the uh, desktop now it's um, our Asus Z77 test bench Intel based and uh, well let's take a look here once again this system has absolutely no optimizations on it whatsoever uh, simply because when I do my benchmarks I want to make sure that I'm not building anything up whatsoever I want to know that the benchmarks that I'm getting are the same as the benchmarks that the consumer will get if they do similar tests what I have done is I use two screens and, and the second screen won't pop on until of course the system is ready to go. So we just pulled the desktop up at under 29 seconds. The MacBook was at under 14 seconds, uh, both having solid state drives. As a matter of fact, the MacBook Air has a Samsung solid state drive and I believe I have a Intel 520 Sandforce based solid state drive in the desktop. Let's move over to the um, Toshiba Z835 Ultra. Um, this is not plugged in as the MacBook was and it's on battery power. So, This system has been in use extensively for the last year and a half. It may or may not have been tweaked uh, with our optimization guide, I can't tell you. And let's see how she starts up. Uh, 17.6 seconds for that laptop. So we have three separate systems starting and we're still under the typical time it takes a computer to set, start one system. So let's go one further, take a look at a system that we only got in three days ago. It's only been turned on three or four times. It's a brand spanking new Lenovo Carbon X1. I'm a little embarrassed, but I don't even know what SSD is in the back because I haven't opened it yet, but let's see here. Okay, as you can see, Windows is starting, so that will be pretty quick as well. Not as quick as the, as the uh, MBA, but... configuration there uh, considering I, like I said I hadn't used the system yet uh, and that started at 32 seconds um, and it still started all four systems now have still started less than it takes a typical computer to start um, let's go just one step further okay I have my MacBook Air set up uh, in a um, dual boot configuration so I can change from the MacBook Air uh, OS, X, uh, OS X environment right into Windows. So let's, uh, we see the scores here of course, but let's change over now. So let's reset this and see how long it actually takes my MacBook Air to switch over to the Windows system, which has got to be a complete shutdown and a complete reboot.
system preferences, startup disk, choose Windows 7, uh, restart, we're going to get a little thing. And so, uh, okay, so now that is uh, it's switching over to Windows 7 from OS X Mountain Lion in a dual boot uh, configuration. And here she comes into the Windows environment. There we go. And I would have expected such because we're going... Okay, so we're at 49 seconds uh, to do a complete reboot of a MacBook Air in dual boot from Mac OS X uh, to Windows 7. Uh, 49 seconds. Uh, you know what? My favorite system right there, I can't complain whatsoever. It's so sweet to be able to play with two different uh, um, operating system environments uh, at the same time. So, um, I hope this has helped out a little bit in, uh, in uh, finalizing your decision as to whether you should be sticking with a hard drive that could be taking a long, long time to start or a solid state drive that'll boot in 15, 20 seconds, typically right off the bat. Uh, my name is Les Tokar, Managing Editor of the SSD Review, and I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. Thank you.